bags uh, for me to grab. And a Sea to Summit, uh, I'd say about 10 liter uh, dry bag. In here we have, we have, we have an 8 by 10 tarp, which is what I'm gonna use to make an overhanging of where I'm sitting uh, in case it starts to drizzle again like it did a moment ago. Um, these tarps are extremely expensive. Uh, they're about $100 for an 8x10 and this brand, brand of this one was, is, I think that's why I only <laughs> have one of them, but I absolutely love them. This is by Integral Designs. I got it at Mech. Um, it's because of their weight uh, and they're completely uh, impermeable. Uh, but it's primarily the weight that you're paying for. Otherwise, you can go get one of those blue tarps from uh, Canadian Tire for, you know, eight bucks. Uh, but this goes to the size of my fist. Uh, except I lost a little bag, which it goes inside. Another Sea to Summit dry bag. And, and, and what's in here? My sleeping bag, which is up to here. It's a full down sleeping bag. Um, no synthetic, so it compresses really small. The difference with synthetic sleeping bags and down sleeping bags is that uh, a, syn a down one will keep you significantly warmer, but a synthetic one uh, will dry significantly faster if it gets wet. Uh, I therefore opted for the down for the simple reason <laughs> that uh, I just better close my dry bags properly. But the down, if I get dumped in some really cold water and I need to get warm quickly, I'll jump into a down sleeping bag for sure. Uh, a synthetic one just won't do the trick anymore. So my sleeping bag's up to here, and I'm aware of that because I packed this a mom moment ago, a couple hours ago. And yes, my, oh, this is a 15 liter, I think. This is a toque I got made from 100% wool. It's by Northern Waters Knitwear. It's uh, made in Canada, obviously, and it is what fishermen, lobster fishermen use in PEI when they go off. It's got a double layer. Uh, and it's supposed to be the toastiest uh, hat in the face of the earth, pretty much. Uh, if a lobster fisherman uses it, I, I'm sure it'll be good for me. So there's my toque. Toke. Toke. Um, my tent, which I put in a 20 liter, but that's just because I often have a tarp inside with it. Uh, <laughs> but again, I think today I only brought one tarp. Um, but that's what happens when you in, are in the rush of packing. And when you're camping, you will always forget something. Count on it. Don't get upset by it anymore. Just realize, okay, I know I'm going to forget something and I know I'll want it at a certain po crucial moment in time, but be calm because it's going to happen anyway. And a seal line sea bag, 10 liters, as you can see. Oh yeah, no. Up to here is my 800 fill down Heli Hansen jacket. Uh, again, something I really like to keep warm. Uh, <laughs> I look like a, a bit of a balloon penguin with it, but uh, but it keeps you warm. And the rest is my clothes. So as you can see, for a one night uh, camping, five liters of clothes should be suffice enough. You just wanna have a change. Um, I brought, this is toilet paper and a tiny emergency kit, uh, which I have had to use before, hence why this little bag, it's in a Ziploc bag, because I once ran, got all my lighters wet, and needed to start a fire, and this is where I had some matches. So since then I always bring it. Coffee. And the food, oh yeah. One big pot, one small pot, tea. Don't forget, I'm only here for an evening, so I didn't have to bring that much stuff. Coffee pot, mug. <laughs> Here's a funny one. I don't think I brought any cutlery. Oh well, <laughs> what a dunce. But again, like I said, something's bound to be forgotten and I'd rather it be the cutlery than the coffee. Uh, fuel, if you wanna make a quick, quick, quick 
a cup of coffee. Uh, use your little stove, which I also brought. A tiny MSR stove, fantastic. Uses any petrol, any gas. Uh, you can practically put 55% uh, percent or 90% percent proof vodka in there and it'll run. Um, bananas, I love bananas. Um, great fruit. And peanut butter and jam. I brought a steak for this evening, filet mignon. I brought some Charlesburg cheese. Mm. Mm. Bowls, plural, <laughs> for my invisible friend and myself. Um, tortillas, because uh, I guess the Mexican side of me has to have it uh, to make my quesadillas. Tortilla, cheese, not very complicated to make. Tastes delicious. Just remembered I forgot something else, but anyway. Lots of bread, carbohydrates. And of course, my favorite energy booster, peanut butter and jam. Um, you know you're Canadian when, but <laughs> uh, PB&J sandwiches are the best. Not to mention that peanut butter gives you more energy than almost any other food that you could eat because it's peanuts. Um, but I've, I, my girlfriend and I ran out of food once and uh, all we had was a, a jar of peanut butter and a can of cherries. I think the can of cherries was from about 1984, around the time I was born, and I kid you not. Um, but the peanut butter, I was so out of energy and I just took my hand literally and was scooping it into my mouth like an animal. Um, when you're in certain dire situations, um, which I can't say that was a dire situation, but when you're in dire situations, a lot of the niceties that you would expect um, are not existent anymore. Uh, you just want to survive and you'll do whatever you can. Uh, sometimes it can get pretty ugly too. Um, a little lantern for the inside of my tent. I haven't gotten onto the wave of the electric lights that you hang in your tent. Uh, they're probably far better uh, regarding Electric <laughs> electricity. They're, <laughs> they're probably uh, far better regarding not burning your tent down, but there's something about a true candle lantern in my tent that makes me feel nicer and I guess a little happier. And it gives a, a warm, lively ebb. I find um, artificial light to be a bit uh, harsh. <laughs> 